Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakorash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. And I wanted to do a lesson, as you can see, I have here, First Peter's, the fifth chapter. All right, and this is uh, the head disciple chosen by who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, the rock, all right, on which the church will be built upon. All right, um, you know, this uh, thing of ours has always been associated with a tabernacle. You know, at the time of Moses, um, we have a tabernacle at the time of David, um, Solomon built the tabernacle. Okay, but he gave Solomon that blueprint. Okay, uh, that that temple would eventually be sacked. All right, and then Zerubbabel, all right, was the governor at the time that it was being rebuilt. All right, at the time of the uh, Persians and the Medes. Okay, and at the time that Yahweh Shah came, all right, on the earth as a man born through the loins and lineage of David through a union made by Joseph and Mary okay um this was the first disciple he chose okay this is the head disciple all right on whom the heavenly father has bestowed the spirit of what the rock in which the church is going to be built upon all right so a tabernacle is being built in these latter days in spirit and that is known as what? The Tabernacle of David. Okay. And the starting process of that, you know, started when Yahweh Shah came on the scene and chose the 12. And then eventually others followed, you know, um, and eventually, you know, pretty much, you know, uh, Paul was set up, you know, and ultimately the uh, Gentiles, which are Israelite foreigners, were brought in. And um, in these latter days would be the finishing all right, of that tabernacle being built, which is a spiritual temple, okay? And um, that church is going to be in order, okay? And, um, you know, I wanted to deal with this chapter. As you can see, the title of it, all right, is Advice for Elders and Young Men, all right? And um, particular of us have been put in positions to be, you know, heads of camps, you know, um, elders, you know, because you have the apostles, you have the bishops, all right, and elders, and then you have us brothers who entered into their labors and uh, through the spirit have been put in leadership positions, okay? And um, that's no light thing, all right? And, um, you know, through the spirit, you know, there's a lot going on and uh, we're at a very, very important and vital time uh, in, in, in uh, you know, this walk where the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son is getting ready to make moves, okay? The left hand, which is controlled by the Most High, you know, the elite are, are getting ready to make moves. They're already making them, okay? Which is going to bring, you know, uh, you know <laughs> some very um, tight times. As we know, we have to walk through the straight gate, okay? So your mindset and, you know, whether you are, uh, you know, ahead of a camp, you know, or, you know, you're you're under ahead of a camp, you know, we have to have the proper mindset of, you know, how to order ourselves. OK, so I'm going to start here at first Peter, the fifth chapter in the first verse. All right. It says the elders which are among you, I exhort. Whom am also an elder. In witness of the sufferings of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Yeah, Peter was one of the men who saw Yahweh Shai face to face. He saw the miracles. He saw the you know the uh, sufferings he had to go through, as far as being on the cross. You know they they witnessed it all. You know they were persecuted at the time. He was brought up to charges. You know they were with him. You know these were his right hand men. So when we read these letters, we got to understand that these words have to be taken, all right, seriously, all right, whereas you have a lot of people pushing, you know, the spirit of disorder, 
onto you Israelites. Well, the, the this thing of ours has always been based upon order and leadership. All right. And um, rank in a sense of uh, spiritual matters. All right. Now, those things aren't to be taken, you know, out of their, uh, you know, taken and used for a cloak of maliciousness. All right. But there's order. OK, even when we get into the kingdom of heaven, there will be order. OK, there will be, you know, a, a rank. All right. You'll have your how shy the 12, the rest of the 144, the large multitude. Everybody will be in their own order. OK, so the, don't, you know, allow, you know, these hurt individuals who are popping up who may have been casted out. OK, or, or, or went through particular things that are a part of their walk to push to you that the Heavenly Father ain't dealing with order. Okay, so it says feed the flock. All right, you brothers who have been given the duties as elders, as heads. Okay, because you have particular brothers who are young in our heads. Okay, and you may not yet be an elder, but guess what? The Heavenly Father puts you in that position of an elder. All right, so you have to what? Change your mind. You have to grow up. We all have to grow up. OK, feed the flock. OK. Of God, which is among you, taking oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not by filthy, filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. Now, let's look up this word feed. All right. Through the Holy Spirit and uh, get some understanding here. That word feed is what? Poi. May know, all right, all right. It says to feed, to tend, okay, to keep the sheep, to rule, to govern, okay. And we know government, all right, means to what? Control of the mind. So you are the example. You're responsible for the mindset, all right, of the men that are entering into your labors, all right. When we entered into the labors of the apostles and elders. They pushed upon us a mindset, all right? And the, the, at the priority, at the top of that mindset was the pushing of this word and having the right doctrine, okay? Being brothers, okay? We didn't know how to do these things before we came into this truth. So it's like a shock, all right? But you have to catch on and you have to get, you have to be in the spirit, man, okay? Pasture for food to furnish, cherish one's body to serve the body, so the, 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 the role of a head is the role of a servant, which Hamashiach Yahawashai gave us the perfect example as he was on the earth as a leader of his camp. All right. And through the works of those men, camps were set up. All right. <laughs> all throughout particular regions. And in this in these last days, OK, that tabernacle was being rebuilt in spirit man being finished okay so nourish okay so what a lot of brothers sometimes is 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 uh you know we can get into the spirit of the fact that we just know the scriptures and think that's enough but you still there's a mindset you have to employ into the men under you which should be passed down from the most high through Yahweh Shai okay a spirit of love OK, and love ain't always this queasy, loving, good feeling. With love comes pain. With love comes suffering. With love, with love comes long suffering. With love comes discipline. OK, with this thing of ours comes what? Uh, 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 suffering wrongfully. We have to undergo all kind of things, man. OK, but the Lord is telling us to what? Care for the flock that God has entrusted you Watch over it diligently, not grudgingly, not for what you will get out of it, but because you are eager to serve the most high. All right. And servant, a servant is ultimately someone who um, serves. I mean, it speaks for itself. You're serving. All right. The most high God, Yahweh through Yahweh Shai. All right. Through tending to the sheep, through caring for the sheep. OK, and, 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 and you give to me on the, the understanding of the scriptures, but your character and who you are 
and how you handle matters is very important as well because these young men who are coming up under you and the men who are entering into your labors okay they you know uh, israel sheep or you know it was sheep so they can pick up characteristics and everything and looking at everything you do okay and if you do bullshit they're gonna think bullshit's okay so caring for the flock is more than just doing the videos okay but who you are is important how you move is important how you handle affairs within the house of Yahweh Bashim Shai is important. Neither as being lords over God's heritage, okay? But being exam examples to the flock. So you're not doing this for what you can get out of it. You're not doing this to boast in your position. You're doing this because ultimately uh, you love and you're eager to serve Yahweh Bashim Shai. And the fact that he's chosen you for this position, okay? <laughs> That should come with a great deal of fear and responsibility. Okay? It says, Neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being in, in samples to the flock. Okay? Don't do it. We're reading this in the NLT. Don't do it over the people assigned to your care. Don't lord over the people assigned to your care, but lead them by your own good example. All right. And we have to understand these men aren't our men. Yes, we've been placed over the head of a camp. Yes, we, we, we're in these situations to where the Lord has entrusted us. OK, to, to lead. OK, but then these are Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's men, which with that understanding. That should, you know, make you move. All right. That much more in order. OK. It says your example is important. You have to be examples to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's flock. Okay? And you can't lord over. Lording over is being an asshole. Now, you are going to have particular leaders who are more forward. You're going to have particular leaders who are more meek. But it must be done in spirit and for the purpose of building up. Because, yeah, you get on, brothers. Okay? Sometimes you have to tear a man down just to build him up. All right? But building that man up, all right, is at the forefront of how you move okay and particular brothers have particular spirits particular men come from uh, different you know walks of life and you have to operate through the holy spirit okay in order to understand who you're dealing with okay this is why we have to what walk in the spirit we have to get out of the flesh okay because to hell with this world, to hell with how we handle things in the world. We have to become a new man. And we have to apply Yahweh Shai more than ever in these days. See, a lot of times brothers get in the spirit that being meek and how Yahweh Shai handled things, which Yahweh Shai, he was rough with his men sometimes. But some people look at it as weak. No, man, these th those characteristics, everything he did. All right, you got to apply it. We all do. Okay, and when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Okay? <laughs> and we're almost there. Okay? It says, likewise, ye younger. So you, you th that was the advice to the elder men. Okay? And you got to take that advice all right, as a commandment, these are commandments. Not only are the 613 law, statutes, and commandments commandments, but these precepts are also commandments and guides on how we should uh, uh, handle ourselves in situations in the spirit. Okay? And it's not the easiest job, but as the scriptures say, it's a light thing. And we've received well... Uh, 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 we're more than equipped through the Holy Spirit with the, the leadership we have. All right. We have no excuse. And seeing these prophecies come to pass, we got to get our shit together, man. All of us. We all got to do better. OK. It says so, you, so we ain't here to lord over brothers and be complete assholes and, you know, to, uh, try to destroy brother spirits. You know, a brother may have a spirit that you kind of like, you know, it rubs you the wrong way. So you 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 you. Go at that brother and try to just destroy him. Nah, we can't do that. Okay? Yahweh Shah and Peter bumped heads at times. 
Okay, but 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 Yahweh Shai was always building Peter up. Okay, because sometimes Peter suffered in the flesh. But he's still the head of that church. You see what I'm saying? And that's the great this is the greatest church of all time. This is the greatest, you know, this is it. Okay, so a, a, a crown is coming, brothers. So we have to be very, very uh, you know, I was looking at this situation, this documentary with this dude, See Nice Films. And it just seems like, I mean, although, you know, there's, there's two sides to two story. you know, there's always two sides to a story. But I will say this. Uh, the, the, the leadership that this dude was under was horrible. All right. The dude admitted that he didn't read the New Testament or really know the Bible like that. But he was put in a leadership position because men are going after numbers. That's horrible leadership upon HOI. In the in in these particular camps he was coming in, okay, Lord and over brothers and all of the, the stuff like that, okay, that ought not be amongst us, okay. So we got to be very very careful in how we move as leaders, okay. And we've been warning you particular cats out there about these leaders, about these camps. So you get exactly what you ask for. All right. Anyway, verse verse five. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. OK, well, let's look up this word submit. OK, and it, so anybody out there pushing that there's no order, you don't have to follow. I mean, you don't need men. Men have always been at the forefront of what the heavenly father is doing on earth and others follow them it's point blank period now if you don't think we're those men cool but to push the narrative that there's no men and you don't need to follow anyone look man that's horrible that's a horrible mindset and that's a horrible doctrine and it just means that bitterness the bitterness of what yahweh bashmiah shai has set you up to go through has overcome you and that's when you lose the word submit yourselves Okay, is what? Hypotaso. It says to arrange under, to, to, to subordinate. All right, like the EU nations are subordinate to America. They're vassals. Okay, and here's the thing. We're all here to be used. But we're not here to be misused. I'm going to say that again. We're all here to be used. We all have particular gifts and things that the Heavenly Father has put us a part of a body. Or, or, or gave us in a form because you got particular brothers who by themselves you may have a gift and for you brothers who are by yourselves hey Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is getting ready to bless you brothers if you're sincere watch but just stay strong okay you're not the first or the last but uh, I forgot my, my talking point but to arrange under to be subordinate to be subject to be put in subjection so order alright remember the scripture said we will stand on our feet as a great army in any army, there's rank and order, right? So we have order amongst the churches. Okay? To obey, to, 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 to subject oneself, obey, to submit one's control. Okay? It says to, to, to yield one's admonishment or advice. Yield to one's admonishment or advice. So you have to be what? In order. Okay? Subject. All right. It doesn't make you weak. Remember, you've been enlisted into a spiritual military. There's nothing wrong with being led. We all need leaders. And the Heavenly Father has set up leaders in these latter days through the Holy Spirit, man. OK, so let me keep going. It says, likewise, you younger submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. All right, let's look up this word humility. Be clothed with humility. Okay, this word humility, okay, is having a humble opinion of oneself, not a novice lifted up with pride. All right, deep sense of one's moral littleness. You have to look, you don't, don't you can't look at yourself high, uh, 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 too high. Okay, always be examining yourself, always be in the spirit of, of humility okay modesty humility lowliness lowliness of mind 
Okay? This is this is Peter's advice. I'm not making this up. Okay? So if you got a if you if you out there pushing this renegade uh, a rebellious mindset towards the Lord's business, you're going to be held accountable. All right? The heavenly Father is going to uh uh, uh you're going to it's going to in the day of reckoning, you're going to have to answer for this because we're literally reading all right, the 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 mindset of the the man that was in second in command, all right, the head of the Lord's church, okay, in a sense, which Yahweh Shah is the head, but he set Peter up as the head of the 12, okay, so it says, likewise, you younger submit yourselves unto the elder, yea, all of you be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility, for God resisted the proud, and give grace to the humble, okay, he resists the proud, and Proud, prideful men are being resisted in these latter days, and you can see them, okay? But he favors the humble, and it's nothing wrong with being humble, man. We got to look up the word humble, okay? The word humble in the Greek, as you can see here, it says, tapenos, all right? Not rising far from the ground, metaphorically a condition of lowly, low degree, okay, to be brought low with grief depressed lowly in spirit humble all right and then it can have a bad sense okay so you always got to keep all right uh, uh uh you know you both you're emboldened in the holy spirit but you always got to be mindful that look i'm entering into man's works i'm entering into man's labors this i'm a i'm a part of something the way that i got here there was labor and work put in before i got here okay and as you're being led like in the wilderness, there's going to be particular commands and orders given on the fly. OK, there's particular things that are going to be uh, come down as orders on the fly. That was happening in the wilderness. And what was happening? Jake was bucking up against the men whom the Lord set up. And we see that same thing happening now. OK, so you have to be humble coming into this thing. This is a very, very uh, beautiful privilege we have. OK, the Lord don't need us. And it, it, the truth didn't start with us. You see, there was there was there was a, a, a work put in through the Holy Spirit, labor put in that you should respect. OK. It says. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of the most high that ye, he may exalt you in due time. And you brothers, we are going to be exalted under Yahweh Shai. Casting all your care upon him. For he cared for you. Okay? Be sober, casting all your care upon him. Things are gonna happen. You gotta cast it on your Hawabashmi Al Shai and make sure you're always in order, all right, on point. Okay, uh, and abounding in the word of Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai, being a brother, showing brotherly love, okay, and, and doing uh, uh, what Yahweh Shai and his disciples did, as the scripture said. How will you know my disciples? By how they love one another. Okay? Be sober. Be vigilant. Okay? Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And how does Satan devour men? Through the flesh, through uh, offense, through particular issues that arise in the church. These issues that come up have to be handled in order and as men. And this is where communication is key. Okay? Because men don't communicate, they bottle in all of these things, they never talk, and then once maybe they're kicked out or, or whatever happens, they come with all of these particular things that they were mad about, but they never told nobody anything, okay? Because things can be handled in order, things that you don't think are right, uh, 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 address those things in order, man. And I'm going to say this to the heads of the camps. Watch what you say in front of these younger brothers, man. Watch, know who you're around, know who you're talking to. Always keep yourself, all right, in order. Now, of course, we're in the flesh. Things are going to happen. But you always got to be in a constant state of catching yourself, man. Okay? So we got to be sober. We got to be vigilant and know and understand when Satan is entering in. So Because you can go too far. And when you're in the flesh, you don't think. Because it feels so good. You feel justified. You may feel like you're getting your vengeance. You may feel like whatever situation it is. But guess what? It could be Satan. So be mindful, both the heads and the men who are under those heads, okay? It says, whom 
resist steadfast. Let me read this in the NLT. Stand firm against Satan. And how do you stand firm against Satan? Applying Yahweh Shai, walking in the spirit, not walking in the flesh, not thinking too highly of yourself, doing the work, learning, abounding, being a brother. Okay, constantly uh, 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 you know, when issues arise and shit happen, dealing as men and not as niggas. Okay, we can't deal as gang members and niggas in the world. We got to deal as men of the Lord and we have the tools. Okay, you cannot uh, handle situations like you handle them in the world, being rash. This, you got to be a man of the Lord, man. We got to change all of us. Stand firm against Satan and be strong in your faith. Remember that. Your your brothers in Yahweh Shai, your brothers and sisters all over the world are going through the same kind of suffering you are. Let me read it in the King James. Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. And you ain't the only one going through anything. Don't get into this spirit that I'm the only one. Nobody knows. I'm the first one. My hell is no. Everybody's hell is their hell. So therefore, you can't say my hell is worse than this man's hell because every man's hell and every man's uh, 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 cross is according to what Yahweh Bashim Yashai gave him and according to his spirit. OK, it says so you got to resist st Satan. That's why you got to put on the whole armor of Yahweh Bashim Yashai and understand what you are part of. A lot of men don't understand what they're a part of, like this this guy who did that documentary. He said that he saw. The, 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 the man preaching and he looked at them as like superstars, man. So you, you, you really got to, you know, when you enter into this thing and when you do see the men of the Lord, you're like, wow, but all that superstar starstruck, nah, we ain't here for that. Really, we are here the power of the word that these men are bringing out, what they're saying and what's being built. Now, the Lord uses men and that's a beautiful thing. All right. But the power of the word is what drew me in through the men of the Lord. OK, because when we came in, there were, uh, you know, the, the, you had uh, Nate, you had, uh, 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 you know, uh, Elder Racha before he bugged out. You know, you, you had Yohanna would pop up here and there. You had other men. They were all teaching. But through the spirit, the Lord led us who, who, to, to follow these men because of what? The power of the word, the, the prophecies. OK, and, and, and they were great teachers, man, through the, and they still are through the Holy Spirit, man. OK, so you have and, 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 and they taught us what's being built. They taught us what's happening. They taught us about the tabernacle of David. These narratives can't be thrown under the bus. The Lord is building something here and it's going to be in order. OK, so know why you why you're here and understand what you're a part of. This ain't no gang. This ain't no this ain't no uh, rap group. This is the Lord's heritage that's being set up here. OK. But the God of all grace, who who have called us unto his eternal glory, um, eternal glory by his, by Yahweh Shahamashiach, hold up, after, let me start over, but the God, 1 Peter 5 and 10, but the God of all grace, who have called us into his, unto his eternal glory by Yahweh Shah, after that he have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish all right, strengthen and settle you, man. Okay, so in, in his kindness, read that in an LT, in his kindness, God called you to share in his eternal glory by the means of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, man. So this is a heavy, I mean, this is heavy that we're even being considered through the Holy Spirit to be a part of his heritage, man. Okay, so after you have suffered for a while, because you have to suffer, most men think that when they come into this troop, you're not going to suffer. You, you don't know what story the Lord has written for you. We're only subject to what was already written before. All right. But we still have to keep our integrity. We still got to be in order. We can't push disorder. And even if you're separated from a body, you got to do what's right. You have to feed the flock. You have to do what Yahweh Bashim Shai has set you up to do. And now that you know you're, you're held accountable, you got a job. OK. And if you don't produce on the job, what happens? They fire you. Well, we don't want to be spewed out of the mouth of Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. OK, so the, 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 the Lord is going to support us and strengthen us. All right. And, and, and we're going to be all right. But we got to stay firm to to him be the glory and dominion forever. Aman. All right. And then he starts to greet particular people. All right. Um, in the church. 
you know, by Savannah, a faithful brother unto you, I suppose, as I have written briefly, exhorting and testifying that this is the true grace of God wherein you stand. And there's particular men, these particular names. We don't know what, you know, we don't have these brothers' writings. We don't know what they did, but they were men who were mentioned. So they had to be on fire. They had to be great, reputable men. Okay? It says, it says the church and we're under grace testifying that is the true grace of God wherein you we're standing in grace it says the church that is at Babylon elected together with you salute you and so doth my son uh, Marcus my son which I believe that's Mark okay who who, who ultimately scribed the book of Mark all right uh, through the inspiration of Peter see that Peter was the the, the like the you know over Mark okay and you had particular books that were written all right. But when you read Mark wasn't there, but when you read the book of Mark, that was Peter's. OK, because you had particular men who would scribe things down. So Mark, why, you know, people ask, well, how, how would Mark notice and that if he wasn't there? Well, Peter really. All right. Inspired the book of Mark when you go into the history. OK. Greet ye one another and kiss with the kiss of charity. OK, and kiss just in an embracing then there is a holy kiss where you lock cheeks that goes back to the ancient world but it's not two men kissing in the mouth okay but 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 ultimately a kiss in our ancient uh, a heritage it's associated with embracing one another with with love okay you know the, as if like you got to understand that the, if these are the spirits chosen from the foundation of the earth and i happen to have been linked with one of them then you treat that brother with love man Okay. All right. Greet you one another with a kiss of charity. Peace be with you all that are in Yahweh Shai Amun. All right. So hopefully y'all are edified on to the next. Shalom.